All right, hello again. This is Joyless Gaming plays Mortal Kombat X, and uh, sorry if you watched the last one. <laughs> it's in a particularly bad mood. I don't even know why I put it up. Content, I guess. If absolutely anyone requests that I take that video down, then I probably will, but in order to know that, you'd probably have to watch this video as well. So, probably try to be in not as such a shitty mood this time. Uh, gameplay will be just as bad, I'm sure, but the uh, running commentary probably shouldn't be as obnoxious. Maybe? Anyway. On Sun God Kotal, my favorite Kotal. I was expecting you. You are quite self-assured. I have no reason not to be. Round one. Okay. Fight. <laughs> On your knees. Ugh. Lowest projectiles in the game. <laughs> Walk up and kick him in the face. Round two. Yeah. Five. Like, I don't. <laughs> yeah. I like Sun God mainly because of its brutality. Because. The thing is, it doesn't actually have anything much different from Blood God. I mean, okay, it is obviously different because Blood God gets the uh, gets the totems, and this gets the command grab. down to down back to your spastic fucking game Ugh. forward down back one really really forward down back one is one of his specials Total con wins in this variation Fatality. so you cash out the uh charges of your command grab to gain back meter and if you meter burn that it instead gives you health which is another thing i like about this variation it does actually have a way to get health back which they did buff at one point it was actually originally like only 10 percent health or 12 percent health Elder gods, damn you! And that's if you had a full stack of three. The elder gods reward strength. Then I will have my due. Round one, fight. Yeah. Yeah. Never got the timing all that right. Ah. That either didn't happen. It's doing a lot of not recognizing my inputs because it's a piece of shit. And I hate it. Of course I hate it because it's a piece of shit and it doesn't recognize a lot of my inputs. <laughs> He's got the slowest... Actually, no, the second slowest. Yeah. 
Even when your meter burned, it's still slow. Alright, let's bring some sunlight into this night forest. Yeah. Really flashy brutality? Yeah. Actually, all these brutalities are pretty good. They're not necessarily the most spectacular in every case, but they are all pretty visceral. Because he's got that. The Blood God one has just got the bit where they explode. Hit them with an uppercut and they explode. The War God has got the one where he saws them in half. And there's Universal ones. He's got the Sun Ray burning. And the uh, Sun Stone going into there. A test of strength. Hmm. My allies must be skilled. We shall not disappoint. Round one. Fight. very strange with its block breakers. I don't think you're supposed to have so much advantage on that spawning puddle thing that you can... Yes, it is unwise to attack your emperor. But that was the thing that this, despite it being similar to Variationless, what it had over Blood God was it had an armored reversal, because that's, you can armor the command grab. But if I suppose if you're really good with the parry, you don't necessarily need armor. But it also meant that he had an armored wake up as well, which is something that Blood God does not have because it has no armor. And they nerfed his damage uh, reduction totem as well, which is unfortunate. Only lasts like four seconds now. Total Khan. I shall honor you with combat. My boot will honor your smug face. Round one. <laughs> Fight. Talk about boots. There you go. That's a mid? Survive that. Round two. Fight. Uh. Okay. It's only going to be like. Two, isn't it? Yeah. Ah. I was Finish him. You little fucker, Liu Kang. You couldn't just stand there and die.
Total Con wins. Fatality. Yeah. Yeah. Thought I'd try to get his universal ones, but his universal ones are really hard to get. Especially against an AI that just does nothing but rush in. Go, like, oh, gotta get in, gotta get in. You do get like the better players that are, do videos and streams and that that complain about how people play online. It's the game teaches them to play that way. Retreat if you wish to live. Round one. Fight. What? What? Incidentally, do I have any actual requirements? For the oh, that's right, you can kill yourself. Sunstone. No, you just have to hit with sunstone. You don't even have to hold forward or anything like that. You just have to be... Of course, the thing it doesn't tell you about the um, sunstone ones, they have to be standing. Because if they're not standing, it won't count. You just knock them down. Jump yourself into the corner. See if I can. Oh, damn it! Why could that not just kill you? Seriously, why could you not just die, you sack of shit? Shit. I can't can't begin to tell you how bullshit that is. Ah! I fucking hate the AI in this. It just does nothing but cheat you, and when you try and do nice, cool, flashy things, you can't. As I said, the Kobold Khan's brutalities are pretty good. But you'll never see You'll never see them never see the universal ones in regular games because they just don't work. Oh fuck off! Oh! Stupid shitty controls. shouldn't do this, Kotal. Just gonna melt your insides and your face. This little fucking piece of shit AI can't just stay back. That's what I mean though, is it, it, like, skilled players, pro players or whatever, they'll, you know, do their videos and they'll do their streams and all this shit and they'll go, oh, why do people play like this? The fucking game teaches them to. The people that, just, and this is the thing, is it, they, they're maybe... A few thousand, maybe a couple of tens of thousands of actually properly competitive people around the world who will buy a game like this. And there are hundreds of, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people, who just buy it because it shows up in the shop or they, they think, oh, that looks cool. And they pick it up and that's how the game teaches them to play. They go online and play like that. Because that's how they think they're supposed to. The game didn't disillusion them. If they don't go and find the stuff online from the pros saying this is what you do with you know, frame data and 
launches and all that sort of crap. Yeah, so they... The fact that it escapes them sort of limits their perspective in that regard, but... I mean, the, the game just does not teach them to play, quote-unquote, properly. Yeah. Uh, that was going to be cool. I was blocking that. Fucking lizard. Yeah, see the guy in the corner there bowing to me? Now he's back to work. So Colonel Khan goes near the corner there. The guy starts bowing in reverence. And yeah. And the AI just doesn't behave in a way that's like proper playing. It just is a random spaz that cheats. And the difficulty is really how often it cheats. Kotal Khan. You will serve me, Lin Kuei. We are pledged to Earthrealm. Round one. Fight. I'm just gonna boot Sub-Zero in the face. Oh, a wake up finally worked for once. Trying to get that... Yeah, he's got this launching string that's forward one, back two, and it just fucks you over so often. that did not chip you to death. You, Sub-Zero is a fag. He's a complete fucking fag. I'm gonna eat his heart and try not to turn into a fag. Yeah. It's just, it'll, what it does is like, oh, and that's, you know, that's a bit of a petty way to be calling it out, but that's what the AI does. It says, okay, that's what you're trying to do. I'm going to not let that happen. So it, it's not clever, and it doesn't do good combos or anything. Like, you put it on very hard, it doesn't actually do very good combos. It's just really random and spazzy and prevents you from doing what you're trying to do because it's... It is programmed to process what you're doing first. Are you mad at me? So, when you play on the high difficulty, what you need to do is make sure that every hit you land counts. fucking medium. Ah. Oh. That didn't even somehow count as a wake up.
And because of that, the, the way to play to win quickly, especially on the high difficulties, you know, for, for somebody who's not a skilled player who will do like a 40% damage combo, is just get in quickly and just smash it. Do as much damage quickly as possible as you can, which considering that in this game the uppercut down two does 14% damage, you jump in and do an uppercut. <laughs> Why not? It hits hard for a single move. And if it works, then there's never anything that tells them that they shouldn't do it. Kuatao. You would attack your emperor. I serve no emperor. Round one. Fight. <laughs> Fucking backdashes. Now you can't get a backdash. Sure, a while back I worked out a pretty good um, needleless. Oh, for fuck's sake! Pretty good needleless combo. That involved. Fuck off, you forearm fucker. getting worse over time at recognizing my input. So like maybe I need a new computer. Which would be good because it means I can smash this one, like actually violently destroy it. And it would be great if I could feel emotions and pain and all that sort of stuff, recognize how fucking annoyed I get at it. So that it knows it's being punished. Yes, I'm pissed off. This is not... I'm still putting out shit gameplay, but it's not shitty in the way I expected. It's shitty because just garbage isn't fucking happening when I tell it to. The bane of all existence. Save the realm's false god. Round one. Fight. It's like I may have. I don't know if I said it on a. I don't know if I actually said it on a, another video somewhere, but... For fuck's sake, you little fucking bony little piece of shit! Ah! Fuck off! You know, like I may have said in another video, it's just... This Kind of the annoying things that assholes would say online is, like, you know, I can't take a loss or anything like that. No, I can fucking take a loss. It's that I'm taking a loss because instead of losing due to doing bad moves or playing the game badly, I'm losing because nothing is happening when I tell it to. And the wake-ups and, and re reversals are particularly where it's noticeable, because I could probably still, and probably would still end up losing matches. I was like, oh, you shouldn't be wasting your meter like that. But the way it would go is that I wouldn't even waste the meter because the move wouldn't happen at all. If the um, if you 
he exited, it, it would straight away go to. Uh, see what I mean about the just cheats its way around. It's like, oh, you're trying to do that. Well, this thing that I'm doing will beat it because I'm not even going to make your thing happen. And you go and take that online and it ends up just being this shitty thing of other people who are usually end up being better skilled players. You know, it's not like I'm playing against people who don't know how to play. But they're better players that are winning not because they're better, they're winning because I am losing. And I'm losing not because I'm a bad player, I'm losing because shit that I'm doing just isn't happening. See? Just goes, oh no, I can block that, because I know exactly when you're going to do that. See? Yeah, that is a move that just catches you no matter where you are. And yeah, fucking, yeah, immediately, oh no, you're going to do a fucking down just, yeah, just dodge that. See how fucking bullshit this is. Just gets around anything that you do. And you play against this, you don't learn to be a proper, like, skilled player. You just learn that the fucking game is garbage. And you play it however it works, and you don't expect that that'll be how... Maybe, yeah. You should probably expect that playing against people will be different. But with the shitty original netcode that this thing had, Frankly, my crappy internet connection. Oh, that is fucking garbage! And now it does, does an uppercut. Again, it did that before. It does a down two instead of a down back two. I go down back two with a meter burn, and it reckons it's a down two. So, even if it did do the fucking move, it probably wouldn't have done the EX version, because that's how spastic this fucking game is. That's the thing that I really think just needed to change. They're using the block button to add the meter expenditure so often meant that the move wouldn't even happen because it thought you were trying to block. Yeah. So just all in all is just mechanically there's an awful lot of stupid broken shit in this game that... They granted his request, invoking I don't know. It just ends up being absolutely no fun. Because half the time, you can't even actually play. And how are you going to feel like you're ever able to improve at a game when it's just hit or miss as to whether or not what you're telling the game to do is actually going to happen? Like you try to do that move and it doesn't come out. You try to do it again, it does come out. What did I do differently? I don't know. I pressed the buttons. One time it did come out, one time it didn't, and it's just garbage. And like you're saying, you play AI, it never teaches you to play like a person against another person. And most of the people, and this is, yeah, I mean, this is all getting back to that original point of the high level players, the actual tournament players. <laughs> Honestly, if any tournament players watch and listen to this, if you're bewildered as to why random people that you play online play the way that they do, just step back a second and realize that you are actually in the minority of people who have bought, say, this game. This game sold over 5 million copies. Now, at the that was in April. It released in April of 2015. And in June or July, was it June? I think it was June was when EVO took place, and it had almost 1,200, had over 1,100 entrants for this game. Now, okay, granted, that's only people that could make it to EVO, but if there were 10 times that many people around the world that wanted to go, seriously, that's still only 10, 11,000, 12,000 people 
that serious at going to a huge tournament like that, you don't have anywhere near enough proper high tournament competitive players around the world to populate this game and make those sales. Five million sales means there's an awful lot of people who thought, oh yeah, Mortal Kombat, that's cool. I remember that when I was a kid or whatever. You know, that's all the, the gore fest game when you do fatalities and stuff and they buy it because of that. If you're wondering why they play the way that they do, it's because they don't learn to play it to play tournaments. They don't learn to play it against people who look at frame data and are all about winning. Some of them just want to play to have fun. And as I said, it gets really frustrating playing against people online who are probably going to beat you anyway, but you're barely able to play because you keep trying to do things and they just don't happen. And then of course there's the 50-50 shit, which is just lazy fucking design as far as I'm concerned. And was really bad in the, you know, bad internet connections and bad netcode this game originally had. And bad for me too, because I don't have very good re reactions and I also just, it's too fucking frustrating and it's just no fun, so I end up hating to play it, so what do you expect? If you expect high level play when you play random people online, then you've got a really limited sense of just how big something like this is. Now if it's a small game, a small fighting game, because it's the Bear in mind that fighting game is a niche audience, which is why it's actually astonishing that Mortal Kombat X sold over 5 million copies, because it's a fighting game! But it sold on brand recognition, not because lots of people wanted to play in tournaments. It sold because ultraviolence. Anyway, my throat is getting sore, so um, let's fuck this off and I'll see you next time.